What's up everybody, it's Rice Upon here with another episode of Minecraft Bucket Coding. Today it's episode 5 and I haven't done one in a long time so I decided to make one today. Um, I finally have the time to create videos again so here it goes. I'm gonna, in this episode I'm gonna show you all how to create inventories like on some servers you have a compass, you right click it. Uh, an inventory pops up or some people refer to them as GUIs uh, I call them GUIs but they're uh, widely known for inventories so yeah um, I'm gonna hop into my clips real quick this is my main class uh, yours might not want, uh, need to extend Java plugin but uh, it will need to implement listener because we will be using event handlers for this and the first event handler we want to uh, create is when you um, click on the uh, click on the item uh, you have. So if you right click with a certain item in your hand, and this is and I'm gonna call this um, on player click or on right click. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, this does matter though. So uh, this has to be player interact event and I'm gonna name it event that's the variable name and control shift and O for Windows to import everything automatically and I want the inventory to pop up when I right click a diamond so I'm gonna have two if statements uh, one inside the other first one is gonna be actually let's create a variable actually um, this variable is going to be player, uh, type player, and it's going to be named player. And I've got to import that. Get player. All right. What is it? Oh, yeah. In tutorials, I don't use E for um, this variable right here. So yeah, kind of gets confusing. But anyways, uh, if player get item in hand is not equal to null. So if the player isn't holding anything in their hand, um, it won't throw any exception or null pointer exception. Uh, and if player is holding something in their hand, we want to know uh, what the player is holding so we're gonna compare that item to a diamond it's either a diamond or it's not a diamond the amount doesn't really matter so yeah we'll just leave it at that and um, so now we know the player clicked um, with a diamond but this could be any click it could be a left click or right click it could have clicked on a block so we want to narrow it down so it only picks it it only picks picks up when it when he right right clicks air, or just right clicks in general. So we're gonna do event uh, get action, and some people might like to compare this to action. Uh, since we're just listening for a right click, I like to use this method to string, and then I like to what's it called? Compare to string. Um, since it's equals ignore case, it doesn't really matter, but I type it all caps anyways, um, just for the sake of it, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, well actually, no, I did that wrong, it shouldn't be equals ignore case, it should be contains, right, there we go. Okay, so now we know the player right clicked, yeah, right clicked with the diamond in hand, now what do we want to do? Actually, for this, I'm gonna create another method. I'm gonna make it a private void. I'm gonna name it on click, and it's gonna take in a player. Um, now this is where things get a bit tricky. If you want this inventory to be universal, so everybody has the same inventory, you can just uh, make a variable up here called inventory or uh, if you want it to be a specific inventory for each player you can create the inventory object 
when the player joins and save it as a variable and uh, refer to it when needed. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to make the inventory universal. So uh, I'm going to have private inventory uh, called that inv equals bucket create inventory. Uh, let's see. The holder is going to be null and the size is going to be, let's see, and it has, this has to be a multiple of nine. So yeah, and just import that. And actually what I'm going to do, uh, I forgot to have my on enable. I haven't coded in like a couple of months, so I'm surprised I got this far. <laughs> and actually let's have these null by default and initialize them on, um, on startup. So when the plugin uh, enables, all the variables will get initialized. So inventory will be equal to bucket create inventory null. The holder um, most of the times will be uh, null unless I don't know. Uh, I guess you just have to do your uh, research and uh, find out when to not use null for the holder. So, uh, but it won't throw an exception if it's not null. And then we want to put something in the inventory. So when you do uh, inv dot, it'll have this thing called add item. And Actually, what I like to do again <laughs> is create a create item method. So create item, and this is going to take in the material, uh, an integer for the index, string for the name, and I also like to have it taken uh, another string for the lore, and but. We're not going to be using the lore for this tutorial. So, yeah. And in this method, we want to do inv add item. Actually, no, we don't want to add the item yet. Uh, first, we got to make it a variable. So, item stack equals item equals new item stack material. Uh, if you just put the material in it, then It'll just by default have one. The item stack class has, I think, three or four constructors. So uh, you can have a number, you can just have the material, you can have a number and a byte for data value. So yeah. Then we gotta create item meta because uh, we're gonna be renaming it, renaming it. And I'll get into item meta in another episode, but this is all I'm gonna do do for this episode uh, get item meta so this is this gets basically the information of that item kind of so with this you can do uh, you can add it enchantments you can um, get the display name lore um, yeah in this case we want to set this the display name to the name we have set up here and then finally we want to set the item meta for the item as the new item meta because we uh, overrid it with the display name so set item meta item there we go and then finally we want to actually put this item into our inventory so we're going to do add item item and since item is um, an item stack it will take it in so yeah now we want to use our method create item let's see I don't know um, material wood index 0 it goes from 0 to 8 uh, the zero does actually count. Zero is first slot, uh, one is second, uh, etc. And then we want to name it um, Diamond Wood. I don't know. 
and let's export this make sure it works oh and it won't because I haven't done anything let's see okay so on click actually we don't even need this method um, player open inventory inv that's it and then we want to register the event okay registers oh it's get plugin manager like i said i haven't done this in a while register events this this all right this should work i'll uh, reload our server real quick hop back on reload complete and there we go but as you can see we can pick it up and yeah we we uh we don't want that so i'm gonna add another event handler uh, which is gonna cancel the uh, interaction with the item so i'm gonna call this inv restrictions i don't know and this is an inventory click event uh, have the variable as event again and we want to check to see if the uh, inventory is actually we should give that inventory a name or we can just check to see if the holder is null no that's what I'm gonna do actually uh, get holder if the holder is null and this is the only null uh, inventory we have the holder unless uh, I think for chests and other GUIs like that um, that in the holder is also null I'm not sure though but anyways uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna leave it at that and then we just want to cancel the event um, so yeah let's try that and we can try it with a chest to see if the chest holder is actually null and see I can't pick it up or anything uh, now let's see oh yeah and my inventory is all black like this because uh, I'm using my shaders client but then when I got on I decided not to use shaders so yeah uh, let's see order chests uh, are they even in this you know what I'm just gonna oh that's why they were so hard to find okay so if I just put that in there. oh all right and no errors so yeah this is pretty much how you do it um yeah there could be oh yeah there actually could be something like that um what's it called when you click the item it'll say something so this is also going to be the inventory click event we want to make sure and we want to see if the uh, item we're going to compare it using its display name basically get click um, I don't know get who clicked um, I'm pretty sure there's something that returns the item stack uh, let's see get, yeah get current item uh, if event get current item get type equal to mid actually no not get type yeah actually get type because or <laughs> yeah we need to put the null checks and everything and we are gonna do the I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the display name to compare so first we want to make sure what is this okay uh, first we want to make sure the item isn't null so if the player clicks on an empty slot it won't it won't throw a bunch of exceptions then we want to um, check to see uh, if the item has item made so if the player just clicks on a normal piece of wood or piece of item or piece of item or a normal item uh, then it won't throw an exception as well 
because it'll be trying to refer to its item meta class. Uh, let's see. Now we can finally uh, compare the display name. Well, actually, we have to make sure the display name isn't null. So one more check. And get display name is it null? And finally, event that get current item get item meta get display name get oh that that returns a string fit equals ignore case diamond wood then we want to send the player a message and we have to cast it um, we have to cast the person who clicked to a player because this method returns a human entity instead of a player so just cast that and we want to you can do anything really I'm just gonna send them a message saying uh, let's see check green uh, you have clicked me okay that, that, that sounds pretty good uh, export it one more time <clears throat> reload no errors okay let's make sure there are no errors uh, okay let's see now you have clicked me and yep no errors even if I click something else nothing because of all those null checks looking out for us so yeah oh uh, that pretty much wraps up the episode for today uh, episode 5 of bucket, bucket coding a lot of people have um, really liked this series so yeah I hope you really enjoyed this one have a wonderful day and goodbye